Chicago, President Trump on Tuesday warned that if Chicago does not stem the violence that has ravaged the city, he stands ready to call for federal intervention. Chicago recorded 762 murders and 4,300 shooting victims in 2016, the deadliest in nearly two decades for the city. The nation's third-largest city is now off to a bloody start in 2017. The city had recorded at least 42 murders through Monday, compared to 34 murders at the same time last year. If Chicago doesn't fix the horrible carnage going on, 228 shootings in 2017 with 42 killings, up 24 percent from 2016, I will send in the feds," Trump wrote on his personal Twitter account. Trump has repeatedly criticized the city for its handling of the spike in violence. Earlier this month, Trump wrote on Twitter that if Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel can't stem the violence he must ask for federal help. During the presidential debate, he likened Chicago to a war-torn country. In August, following the high-profile shooting death of basketball star Wayne Wade's cousin, Nikia Aldridge, Trump pointed to the killing and suggested on social media that African Americans will vote Trump. Aldridge was fatally shot by gang members who were targeting someone else as she was pushing her baby in a stroller on Chicago's south side. Earlier that same month, Trump boasted in a Fox News interview that he met with a couple of very top police in the department who said they would be able to stop the violence in one week. After Trump's salvo on Tuesday evening, Chicago Police Department spokesman Anthony Guglielmi responded that the city is more than willing to work with the federal government to build on our partnerships with DOJ, FBI, DEA and ATF and boost federal prosecution rates for gun crimes in Chicago. The latest shot at Chicago by Trump came the day after Emanuel, a former chief of staff to President Obama, took aim at Trump and his administration spending so much time insisting incorrectly that his inauguration last week drew a larger crowd than Obama's. You didn't get elected to debate the crowd size at your inaugural, you got elected to make sure that people have a job, that the economy continues to grow, people have security as it relates to their kids' education, Emanuel said. Will said.